Hi, today I'm going to design a sound detector. Recently I have uploaded a video uh, addressing using LM386 as sound amplifier. So we have a microphone with a low voltage of sound or low level of sound and it's been amplified by this amplifier and the output is applied on a speaker. So today we're gonna think how we're gonna process this signal here on the output okay and we can uh, modify or add some more items to generate on and off when we start thinking about modifying some circuits and adding more feature to a circuit we should actually start thinking about okay what is the output and how it look like so this output now is analog signal and this analog signal we should question ourselves about okay what level of this analog signal and is it regulated or random signal so let's now make the oscilloscope find out for us what is in there and according to what we have seen uh, we have just uh, made some claps there and that has produced uh, signals there uh, and it's exceeding the one volt level by a little bit okay so we we have a figure now that figure is one volt so we can start by okay let's have let's think about this we have a signal like this this is the ground okay and this signal here is random okay and it can exceed the one volt at some times okay so how we gonna convert this signal this random signal to on and off so if we have circuit start by using a, a resistor and a transistor this transistor now to turn it on we need at least 0.7 volt between base and emitter and I think one volt there okay is sufficient to turn this on so if we complete the transistor circuit by 10 kilo ohm there and 5 volt there so I believe the we will get like on and off okay so on here if we have a sound there which is 1 volt it will make this transistor saturated and it will generate zero so here the sound there is sound and there no sound okay this is how we think about what is the expected outcome okay now okay the circuit now looks very simple and we can really add some peaks there exceeding maybe the 0.91 volt or more it can saturate the uh, transistor and generate a signal which is on and off but now we have a speaker there how are we gonna deal with this speaker this speaker we're gonna rid of the speaker and we can compensate it by a resistor which is about 10 ohm so delete this one forget it now the voltage there will be applied on a 10 ohm 10 ohm is something relevant uh, to what the data sheet uh, is say, recommending it's recommending between between 4 and 32 so we have now 10 ohm which is sufficient this one will go to the 10 kilo ohm here you can make it 1 kilo ohm and then you can get the one and zero you might add a capacitor there for filtration okay maybe one micro uh, 4.7 micro okay 10 micro and see how it behaves actually it might be good or it might be bad if it's very large you have some delay okay some people they uh, okay ask about okay if I want to clap I want to control the level of my sound okay I want maybe um, very loud or very strong clap or very maybe moderate one so how I control it so this transistor now needs 0.7 volt to turn it on from base to emitter but if I make the emitter is connected to a resistor this resistor is variable to the ground so I this, this resistor now is dropping some voltage there if we said if it's dropping maybe 0.5 volt so 0.5 volt plus 0.7 volt so we should have at least here 1.2 volt uh, should be applied from the amplifier 
to make this working okay so we can control this level by the potentiometer there and we can control how much voltage I need there to make this turn on and then we supply 1 and 0 so let's now see the circuit on easy EDA and let's check how I produce the PCB so here is my circuit I use uh, easy EDA to draw the circuit so here's my microphone I put in parallel to my microphone uh, an extra input so I can uh, feed in my sound or any other uh, sound or signal from iPhone uh, or any other source like computer or signal generator and that's this is the circuit here okay up to there this is my amplifier okay so here is my amplifier and the output will be going to this connector which is called analog out so I can connect my speaker here but instead of connecting my speaker here I want to con to connect it to the digital side now or convert it to digital signal which is on and off uh, so we have I bought just an, a small connector there this connector or jumper is uh, just to bridge the signal and go to the other part so if I want to bridge the signal but just I install the jumper and I can rid of the speaker because there is another 10 ohm there so this one will feed in to the next one and I will get here on and off so that's why this connector is called digital out and here's my PCB it's designed by two layer this is the top layer and here is the bottom layer okay so you can put your stuff there and I think you need some some time if you will, if you are not familiar with these softwares you can just try a simple circuits first first and you can actually get the skills gradually so we can uh, convert it to uh, Gerber file and then generate it Gerber file and send it to GLC BCB or you can order it here directly and remember it's two dollar whatever the color you chosen this video is sponsored by GLC BCB the biggest PCB manufacturer from China who manufactures 10 PCB with the mention of 10 by 10 centimeter for just two dollars the new thing now with GLC PCB, you can choose any color and the price will stay as $2. So now I got my stuff. Let's check what's in the box. So here is my circuit. Very high quality as usual from GLC PCB. And now let's solder it and find out if it's working or no. It's done now. So let's try it and find out if it's working. And here it is on. There is 5 volt there and there are speakers there. So it's about, I believe, 4 ohm. Okay. So I think now let's test. Yeah, my microphone is picking up the sound and amplifying it to some level. Okay. Now I will try to use um, a sound. Okay. From my uh, mic, uh, from my iPhone. So I will just hook up there the a cable from my iPhone okay and try to play any any trending thing there so here it is okay let's go okay I believe it's pretty good and clear so we tested now the first part of my circuit okay which is the analog part now according to what we have here and what we agreed to design okay we have the analog part there which is going to the speaker but I can bridge this jumper there okay like this and now send the same sound amplify sound to the output uh, by passing through the digital uh, transistor okay but because I have here 10 ohm so I can rid of this speaker now and let's test it now I will hook up here the oscilloscope and make some sound or claps and see what is the output and here it is the output signal it is uh, the two volt there for a, a each square so we have a square and two and a half so it's five volt now it's five volt without any sound 
near to the microphone so let's now make a clap okay so here what we have okay so a little spike to the zero okay and that can be actually detected by a microcontroller like Arduino or any microcontroller and it will be like sound uh, detector okay so you can even send it to logic gate which like uh, flip-flops uh, to make on and off or inverters anything can use this signal and convert it to something beneficial at the end of this video I hope you learned something and you enjoyed watching these tests if that is the case so please give me thumb up and like and subscribe and see my previous videos and see you next time in a future design